What is going on you guys, it is Typical Mulatto here and thank you for coming across this video, thank you for coming across this channel, I greatly appreciate it, I hope you'll come back soon after this, now welcome to Back to Basics where I teach you guys some useful Call of Duty tips on how to get better as a Call of Duty player. So in this video I'm going to touch on it in about 2 minutes, 3 minutes and it's just going to be about gun skill and how you can better your gun skill and become a better player in that aspect. Now there's going to be many other videos to follow after this which is why they're short and hopefully in the end of all this I'll put it together in one long video that'll probably equal out to about an hour because I have that much information to share. Now, with gun skill, practice makes consistency in Call of Duty. Practice does not make perfect, it makes consistency. That's what you want to be when it comes to Call of Duty. If you want to be a great Call of Duty player, you want to be consistent. Now, with consistency, here's a few things that you can do. Before we move on to recoil and understanding spray patterns and how you can control your gun at any given moment, especially SMGs because ARs are extremely accurate, you actually don't have to do much at all with ARs and LMGs. I'm not really touching that much on them if you want me to do a separate video for LMGs I can. I'm going to mainly be sticking to SMGs in this video because that has the most spray and they're the hardest to control as opposed to ARs. Preferably you do want to have radar on, you want to have about 10 to 12 bots and you want to be on a small map. Now you want to have the difficulty on recruit because you want to be hitting shots. You're not necessarily worried about your first time reactions and you're not worried about how quickly you can hit your first shots. After you start getting your shot down then you can move the difficulty up and once you get the veteran that's specifically really for working on your reaction reactions and getting your reaction timing down and hitting your first shots as quick as possible. Now moving on to spray control, spray patterns, and the Call of Duty logic and how they use a scan system as opposed to actual bullets. A scan system is a reason why you get shot around walls or you end up getting destroyed before you even see somebody. It's because your connections kind of have to line up and the person with the better connection of course sees you first. With that being said, what you want to do is kind of adapt if you have a lower connection as opposed to somebody that has a higher connection. You want to predict your aim compared to how somebody else moves. With that being said, you want to be aiming about their shoulder kind of as opposed to their chest if somebody has better connection to you in the direction that they are going and you're more likely to hit a one burst with an assault rifle or you're more likely to connect your shots with a submachine gun. Now looking at this spray pattern here you notice that there are many different spray patterns with submachine guns even if you have one same machine gun. There is no exact spray pattern with submachine guns there are many different spray patterns with one submachine gun and that's because they don't use real bullets in Call of Duty. Now one thing you do notice is that they all go up and so one thing you can do is slightly toggle your analog stick down or use Use your left analog stick in a jiggle kind of movement. Just kind of jiggle your analog stick, your left analog stick. It works better if you have stock and that kind of balances out the shot or you move your aim down just a little bit. It just takes a little bit of practice because it's very sensitive with your aim going vertical. Now a little trick that you can do is throw on stock because there is so much strafing in this game you want to have stock. The more you have stock the better your gun skill is because you're able to move with another player as quickly as possible and move your aim a lot quicker when you're aiming down sights. There is an extreme difference between using stock and not using stop. Another thing is when you have somebody that's engaging you and they are above you, you don't want to look upwards with your aim, you actually want to jump instead. Is it a lot quicker and it's a lot more accurate if you just jump instead of simply looking up with your weapon. These are just a few simple tips that can work and it'll make a big difference in how you play, it'll make a big difference in your gun skill, but this is not all that affects gun skill. There are other things such as game sense, putting yourself in a better gunfights, and etc etc and I'll be sure to put those in later videos. I'll help you guys out with gun skill as it comes up, but I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too long of a video, go out there, set up that practice, and melt people. Peace.